Today I'm going to show you my 2024 driver predictions for the F1 season. Let's see how crazy this order is. Comment down below your order. I'd really love to know. I read every single comment. Let's go right into it. So number 20, it's Logan Sargent. I'm sure many people saw this coming. Logan Sargent, he's an okay driver. I mean, he pro I don't think he deserved a second F chance in F1, but Williams do s tend to stick with their drivers for more than with their youth drivers for more than others so i personally think that they probably made the right decision but i'm not 100 percent sure we'll see how that goes for the second season but i personally don't believe in sergeant i think he's going to finish bottom in 20th he showed flashes of pace in 2022 it was a in 2023 it was a good start for him in bahrain but he, the only reason he got points was because two other drivers um got disqualified in hamilton and leclerc so logan sergeant is going to be P20 for me. P19. Now, P19 was either going to be an Alfa Romeo or a Haas, as I don't see either of those teams producing the cars for the drivers to do well in. But I've gone with P19 as Joe Guan Yu. I feel that he is a bit overrated, if I'm honest. I don't mean anything against him. I think he's he was really good in 2022, but 2023, I don't... Bottas struggled as well, to be fair. But 2024... I don't see Joe Guan Yu doing very well. I reckon he can get a couple points here and there, maybe finish the season on about four or something. That's my prediction. But Joe Guan Yu is going to be P19, I reckon. Sorry about that, but I'm going to blame it on the car rather than the driver. Because P18 is Valtteri Bottas. Now, Bottas is declining. We all know it. He He's not the same driver he was in Mercedes. And in his first couple races at Alfa Romeo, he started so well with a P6 in Alfa, but it's just never gone, got better from there. He he did so well in 2022, 2023, he sort of declined. And the only reason I'm putting him ahead of Joe is that experience will hope will boost him up ahead, I believe. Maybe in those pressure scenarios, maybe in the wet, the right call for Inters. Because Joe still is only in his, will be in his third season in Formula 1 in 2024. So I'm going to go with p in 18 for valtteri bottas now p17 is going to be kevin magnuson he he was quite good last season i thought in some races and others he sort of dropped off it was more of a form thing really he showed he could be, he showed us he could beat holkenberg on a good day and the Haas car was very good at qualifying but i don't i see Haas in a bit of a mess at the moment with gunter steiner having just left and their new team principal just come in. I sorry, I can't pronounce his name. I, I don't want to try. Um, but I feel like Hass's card is not going to be ready for the 2024 season. But I'm banking on maybe a couple lucky points for Hass here and there. But maybe, maybe just maybe my Alfa Romeo might be ahead of them for 2024. But they tend to start well and drop off. So I'm banking on the second season, a second half of the season for Hass to just upturn in their form. So P17 is going to be Kevin Magnussen. And alongside Kevin Magnussen in P16 will be Nico Hulkenberg's teammate. Hulkenberg did really well in his first season back in Formula 1, beating Magnussen, who is a, is a good driver, don't get me wrong. Uh, but Hulkenberg, that weight is still going to go on for that first podium, I think, in 2024. And unless a miracle happens, I can't see him getting it. But Hulkenberg does re did really well in qualifying, got into Q3 a good number of occasions in 2024. So I'm going to go with him in P16. P15. P15 for me is going to be Alexander Albon. What a driver. Let's all give it hands down. Albon did really, really well in 2023. May I think he was put into the Red Bull seat too soon in 2019. But... He's actually looks like he's established himself as one of the best drivers on the grid when given the right car. He did so well in Canada, especially that defensive drive. And I think he'll be able to get P15. Despite Williams, I think will be a better car. I think other drivers will have the measure of him. And you'll see why, what I mean by that in a minute when I get to the constructors. So stick around for that. P14, yes, P14 is going to be Pierre Gasly behind his teammate, behind the Alpha Tauris. But I think Gasly had a good first season at Alpine. I think Ocon and Gasly, probably the most evenly matched teammates on pace, on paper between them, than probably, I think they were the closest last season. So 
I'm going to go with Ocon just pipping Gasly at this point. Uh, with Gasly in P14 getting quite a few good points. But the Alpine car is just never really progressed, I don't think. So P14 is going to be for Pierre Gasly. P13, Pierre Gasly's teammate is going to be Esteban Ocon. I feel that he's going to beat Gasly this season. I feel like... um. Th- the him losing out to the fellow Frenchman last year might inspire Ocon to try and up his performance and get better this season. So I'm going to go with P13 for Esteban Ocon. P12. Now P12 for me is going to be Daniel Ricciardo. And yes, Daniel Ricciardo, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're saying. What? Who? He's an Alpha Tauri. They were so bad last season. His Ricciardo's not, surely not that good to drag the Alpha Tauri ahead of both Alpines. Now that's true, that is 100% true, but you're forgetting that Alpha Tauri are going to have some of Red Bull's parts from last season, and that I think is going to prove the difference. So I'm putting Daniel Ricciardo in P12 ahead of the Alpines for this season. I think it's going to, I'm going to be really furious if this is true, I hope it's not, but I feel that Red Bull are somehow going to manage to keep it within the, the rules, and they're going to be ahead of Alpine and everyone else, they're probably going to be best of the rest, which is a shame to be honest because it doesn't really show how Alpha Tauri have made their own parts, they're just borrowing it from their sister team. Now, I'm calling them Alpha Tauri because as of this moment, Alpha Tauri's official name hasn't been released. Many are calling them Racing Bulls, so we'll see. I might call them Racing Bulls for P11. So, P11, I've gone for Lance Stroll. I think Stroll. People say he's underrated. Some people say he's overrated. I say he's quite fairly rated. You know, I think that um, he's he's a good driver when he a driver of good caliber. But I think the only reason he's actually in the sport is because of his dad. I think if he if his dad weren't to own the sport, he'd probably be still a, a decent driver. But not he's not F one worthy. I mean, you saw last season Fernando Alonso getting podium after podium at the start of the season. To be fair to Stroll, he did do quite well at the start of the season with that overtake on signs around the outside in Jeddah. Probably one of the best overtakes of the season, if I'm completely honest. But I personally think that Lance Stroll will be finishing, once again, much behind his teammate Fernando Alonso, who doesn't seem to be declining any time soon. So I put Lance Stroll as P11. P10. Now, P10 is going to be Yuki Tsunoda. I expect him to beat both Stroll and Ricardo again about because of those Red Bull parts and Tsunoda getting better and out, Ricardo slowly getting worse. So I'm going to go with Tsunoda in P10. But to be honest, I only see them getting better from here with Red Bull's parts. I don't know if Red Bull will sort of do some sort of deal with the FIA or something because people are going to be really mad if... Um, Alpha Tari turn up with Red Bull's old parts and going really well. Although it's n- probably quite similar to the relationship Haas have with Ferrari. And look where Haas, that's got the Haas. So we'll see for that as now we move on to P9. P9, I have gone for Oscar Piastri. He had a great rookie season, t- to be honest. And I expect McLaren once again to be fighting for those um, podiums and maybe even the race wins, but we'll see. But for me, I can't see Piastri. He's only still only in his second year of Formula One. Still quite young. Can't he? I don't think he'll be able to beat the elder ones, the older people with more experience, the Hamiltons, the Alonso's, the Norris's, even the Leclerc's and Verstappen's. I just can't see him beating them, even if he's given the car. They've got much more experience, which is going to help them in those pressure situations. And I can see Piastri, despite his amazing rookie year, maybe not doing as well in comparison to his. Second year in Formula One, but I still think he is a future world champion and has the potential to become one of the greatest drivers of all time. He had to, had the best rookie season in 2023 since Lewis Hamilton in 2007. And look where that got Lewis. Seven world championships. I'm not saying Piastri can get seven, but McLaren, if they provide the car, he certainly will be able to win a couple when Norris leaves. P8. Now, P8, I've gone for Fernando Alonso. Now, for me, Alonso is un- still doing really well in that Aston Martin, really well, especially for where it was towards the latter end of the season. He doesn't look like he's getting worse anytime soon, but 
to be honest, I see, don't see Alonso staying in Formula One for 2025, or and definitely not 2026. He's getting old, so I don't see Alonso staying in the uh, F1 for much longer. But I do think in his final couple seasons, he will be able to still take everything out of that Aston Martin. And I'm sure he'll do it well. But Aston Martin, I don't see them having the best form that they did in 2023. So I'm going to put Alonso in P8. So in P7, I've gone for Carlos Sainz in the Ferrari. I think Ferrari will once again have upped their game. They've got a completely new design concept as with Mercedes. So it's kind of a 50-50 of who's going to go better. But I'm going to go Carlos Sainz despite his amazing form last year. One of his best years, if not his best year. In Formula One, I'm Carlos Sainz in P6 because he I don't I don't see him beating Leclerc like despite he almost did last season. I don't see him beating Leclerc, and I think Russell will have upped his game. Well, I hope he'll have upped this game his game because I am a very um, big Mercedes fan, and I hope Mercedes will produce a car this season. So P7 is going to go to Carlos Sainz in the Ferrari. Now, P6, I just mentioned him, is George Russell. I think Russell will um, do really uh, much better this season compared to last season at Mercedes, maybe closer towards the 20, his 2022 season, his first season at Mercedes. But I still don't think he'll be beating Hamilton. I think Russell, with the new Mercedes, with the new design concept, will be fighting to be the lead driver. But Hamilton, I still think, is the lead driver of Mercedes until he retires I think Hamilton is going to be there. He's won six of his seven world titles there and won them pretty much eight constructors. So you can't really fault Hamilton at this moment in time. And Russell's still reasonably young. He's getting on a bit now. Maybe he needs to start thinking about fighting for those podiums that Hamilton was so consistently last season, which is what brought him up into the up into P3 and almost P2 in the championship, actually very close to Sergio Perez so I'm going to put George Russell in P6 so in P5 I've put Charles Leclerc now many of you are thinking what Leclerc he's much better than Perez look at his form last season yes that is a hundred percent true I completely agree with you but for me Leclerc is a qualifying merchant he does so well in qualifying and he's got some good defense so he just stays like that in the race but to be fair, in the last part of the season, he did do extremely well in the race. So I can't fault him there. But and I expect him to carry that form towards the start of this season. But I think Leclerc, when they get when, when under pressure, he just loses it. I mean, there's so many examples. For example, in France in 2022, he was winning the race comfortably. He didn't have to push the car at all. But he made a driver error and spun. Miami in 2023, he spun, causing a red flag. Um, and also other times, which I can't remember right now, but Leclerc does crash a lot. You can't deny it. So I think Leclerc is going to do well, and he's probably going to be better than Perez over the course of the season. But I feel that Perez in that Red Bull will maybe get, maybe notch up a win if Verstappen lets him, <laughs> or Leclerc will just crash a bit too much and maybe lose the P5 late, the P4 late on in the season. So I'm going to go P5 for Charles Leclerc. For, yes, I have gone for Sergio Perez. Now, a lot of you probably would expect me to put him lower, but I think he's still in that red ball. And yes, he made loads of mistakes last season and he's still got P2, which I think is sort of shows that the red ball is so dominant. If Perez can drive the red ball to half its potential, I, st I think that he will get P2. But I think he's don't think he'll be able to do it to half its potential. He crashes too much, I think, Perez. He... he he did well in 2021 and 2022 to be fair and he is a good driver but he is getting a bit old and he's, we're going to see some sort of form declining. We already saw a bit of a last season when he was under pressure in the championship fight and then when in the mid-season where he just probably, he got what, seven Q1, seven times in a row he didn't make it to Q3. I mean, if you want to be a world champion, you can't be doing that. You've got to be making Q3 consistently. Bottas made it 103 times in a row Q3 while he was at Mercedes and he didn't win a world championship. He didn't even get close to Lewis Hamilton. So what is it for Perez next after he leaves Red Bull, which I, I don't doubt he will in 2024. 
after the 2024 season. I think he will leave, maybe go to Audi, but we'll see. So P4, I've gone for Sergio Perez. Now P3, I'm going for Lando Norris. I think McLaren will really turn up this year. They've certainly posted whatever it takes to beat Red Bull on their Instagram, on their YouTube. They're going all in for this F, for this World Championship. But I think the rookie, well, the young Oscar Piastri being young might cost him a bit compared to Alonso. But Lando Norris, he is a lot more experienced than Piastri and I think he in the car as we saw quite a lot last season Norris can definitely go for wins but he hasn't got it yet but it, I expect Norris to get his first win in 2024 if the Red Bull doesn't prove too dominant so I'm going Lando Norris in P3 that only leaves two drivers one of them is Max Verstappen the other is Lewis Hamilton so and my P2 is Lewis Hamilton. I think Mercedes, they say they've found a second or two seconds in the simulator, and I don't believe it. I'll be honest. I think Toto Wolf always, he, he over exaggerates how much Mercedes have improved. Then we come to the race weekend and they say we knew immediately that we'd gone wrong. But so I'm going for Lewis Hamilton in P2. He's such a consistent driver still. Much better, I'd say, still say he's probably one of the best drivers on the grid, if not the best driver on the grid. Yes, better than Max Verstappen. I think Hamilton, with the right car, will be able to get his eighth world championship. If it was up to me, and if I was predicting what I want to happen, I would definitely put Hamilton ahead of Verstappen, because he definitely deserves eight world titles and to beat Schumacher's record. So P2 for me is going to be Lewis Hamilton. And now... For the moment, you've all been waiting for that none of you could have predicted. The driver that I think will be first is Max Verstappen. You guys knew it. I knew it. Probably everyone knows it. But if Red Bull produce a car that's uh, that, that Verstappen likes, Verstappen's going to drive it so well. And he's probably not going to make another single mistake this season. Do I think the grid will be closer? Yes. Do I think Verstappen will go have such a dominant season? No. I think Verstappen will still win the championship by quite some margin. But I do expect more races like Singapore. Not necessarily without Verstappen. But Verstappen having to fight for the win rather than cruising by 11 seconds to the nearest rival. So for me, Max Verstappen unstoppable still. I think Verstappen is going to go for the win for his fourth world championship this year I, I, I might make a prediction when he secures it if i had to guess i think verstappen will secure his fourth world title if he does secure his fourth world title i reckon by mexico i think max verstappen will have secured his fourth world title in mexico what a way to do it as well in front of the that crowd paris's home Crowd won't be too happy about it if Perez gives him some sort of fight. I'm fingers crossed that Hamilton or Norris or Mercedes in, or a team in general will bring the fight to Red Bull. But I can't see anyone stopping Max Verstappen. But guys, if you have enjoyed this video of my 2024 F1 driver predictions, do make sure to like and subscribe. It helps out so much. I'm going for 100 subscribers and with your help, I know I can do it. Click that red button, hit the like button, comment your own 2024 driver order. I'd love to know them and I'll see you guys next time for my next My Team part, the Las Vegas Grand Prix. I'm super excited for it. I've already recorded it. It's a real good one. So make sure to hit the notifications bell as well to be ready for that one. And I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.